All right, here we go. Heading off to Alberta for a couple of stand-up shows. Doing shows in Spruce Grove and Leduc, Alberta. And why, hang on, why the hell is he flying out over the ocean? Hey, we're going, we're going to Alberta. Alberta's not out in the ocean. The hell's he do? Where's he going? Turn this thing around. Right, we made it to Alberta. I was a little quick to panic there. Uh, the pilot knew what he was doing. Turns out it was a seasoned pilot. He knew where Alberta was. Probably had a map up there in the cockpit of the plane and everything. First of all, I wish you could see the precarious setup that I have the camera set up on here. I'll try and show you. Look at that thing up on top of that skinny little stick and then balancing on top of my camera bag. Yeah, I got more faith than brains right there. Short flight from uh, Vancouver to Edmonton, for those of you who don't know, it's like an hour and two minutes or something like that, over the mountains. I'm always peering out the window looking for Sasquatch. I don't know why I think I can see a Sasquatch from 32,000 feet. Here's the thing, I'm not saying I believe in Sasquatch, that's why I'm looking out for it, because who knows, right? I'm fascinated by the notion of there being a Sasquatch. But um, doubters, people who say, uh, like skeptics, negative Nellies, all these no way Normans who say there's no Sasquatch. One of the things I always bring up is I say, if there were Sasquatches in the mountains, we would have found them by now because we've been all over everything. Are you out of your mind? 99.99% of the mountains that you just see between Vancouver and Edmonton, just through an airplane window, has never been touched by a human foot. I think there are probably plenty of scientific arguments that you could use that would be stronger to, to dissuade me from believing that there might be a Sasquatch than saying, no, there's no Sasquatch because we've been everywhere in the mountains. Because I, I can only reply to that with, uh, shut up, dingbat. We've not been anywhere close to anywhere near over all the mountains. Seriously, just that little chunk looking out the window, just what you can see through an airplane window, there could be a hundred million Sasquatches in a pile and you and you wouldn't even know. I don't know what they'd be doing in a pile. That's not my business. Anyway, we made it to Alberta. We, we flew into Edmonton, then a grueling 37 minute drive to, to Spruce Grove. That's where we are now. Doing a show tonight at the uh, Horizon stage, I think it's called, the Horizon Center, something like that. We're in the prairie, so the odds are there's gonna be a Horizon involved in what we're doing. Oh, and if you stick around to the end of this video, uh, I did a, another live Q&A on stage with the audience. It was kind of fun, a lot of laughs, so stick around for that. And take a second to uh, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, and click the little bell notification too, that way you'll always know whenever I'm posting a new video. All right, let's get to the gig. All right, made it to the venue. A little sound check time. And speaking of sound, here's a dire warning. Nice, good tip. Could be funny though. That could be like the Archie Bunker, you know, they all in the family. That was always good for a big laugh. You hear the toilet flush? Big laughs. Might try it. If, if you're bombing out there, I'll flush the toilet. Big laugh, big laugh. Save the whole show. Save the show. Well, be ready. I'll be standing by, because it's gonna happen. <laughs> I can see the stage, I get out on the stage. All right, we gotta check this out now. I'm heading out to the stage. Jamie's gonna flush the toilet. We're gonna see if we can actually hear it. Okay. It's exciting. You hear that? Oh yeah, that's gonna be fail safe. We got that to fall back on if things go sideways. Spirally staircase? Where the deuce does that go? Nothing good happens up there. Bypass the veggies, right to the cheesies. Fruit and chips. Guess which, guess which one's been tapped into already? I don't see any of them oranges cracked. Jamie's on stage, huge laughs, killing. Um, and here I am, waiting to go on, and I just got a text saying that, um, that tonight the Canadian Screen Awards were on in Toronto. I couldn't be there because I'm here doing these shows, but I was, I was up, I'd been nominated for Best uh, Writer for an animated show for an episode of Corner Gas Animated that I wrote called Squatch Your Language, and I just got texted that I won. So here I am, holy, 
Holy crow, about to hit the stage as an award-winning animation writer. That's something new for me. Corner Gas Animated was also up for um, Best Animated Show, but I, I haven't heard whether we won that or not. That's kind of a groovy shot. I'm just waiting for Jamie to get off stage because I've decided I'm going to surprise attack him. I'm going to TMZ him. I'm going to see how he do in a TMZ attack. Here he comes. What do you think it was? How'd it go? Huh? It was all right, I guess. <laughs> that ought to hold a little SOBs. <laughs> he handled that a lot better than I thought he would. Huh? I said I was going to see how you do if I TMZ'd you. <laughs> the guy just rolls with it. What a pro. I've been doing a little, taking a couple minutes to do a little Q&A. So let's do that now. We'll do a little Q&A. The beauty of it is it's either a lot of fun or nothing good comes from it. And we just pretend it didn't happen ever. <laughs> That's the beauty of editing. Thank you, TV and film. Thank you, YouTube land. So uh, we'll just take a couple seconds. Feel free to shout out anything, any question you have about life in general, about anything. Do you ever uh, get back to Tisdale? Do I ever get back to Tisdale? Not uh, for a while now. Not since my mother passed away. Geez, you really brought a damper on the show here, buddy. <laughs> you know, we're trying to have a good time out here, having some laughs. And you go and bring that up. I gotta go. See you, everybody. <laughs> I haven't been back. I gotta get back, though. It's a hell of a good town. Hell of a nice town. Are you, do you, have you ever been there to Tisdale? My brother-in-law was your music teacher, Ian McFarland. Ian McFarland? Oh, geez, you got that whole accent going and everything. <laughs> because you, your accent is Irish, though, right? Because you said brother-in-law? Yeah, Northern Ireland. Yeah, yeah Northern Ireland. So, uh... Ian was my music teacher, but he married your sister, who was also one of my teachers. He married my wife's sister. Oh, he married your wife's sister. Everybody just talk amongst yourselves for a second. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to have some whiskey and carrot cake and just have a good... Well, but it's been so long since I talked to my cousin's third teacher's uh, neighbor. Ian was a, uh, a fantastic guy, a music teacher. He had a thick, thick Scottish brogue, right? And he, talked, he was teaching us how to play guitar. And I always remember, because when you first start, they just want you to strum down, right? Down, down, down. And then, after you've been at it a little while, they want to get you a little more comfortable, make you a little more loosey-goosey, make you a little more rock star. Down, down, up, down, up, down. But with a thick Scottish accent, he would yell at us, Dine, dine, yep, dine, yep, dine, yep, dine, dine, yep, dine, yep, dine, yep. Felt like we were like a Russian clog dancers or something there. Dine, dine, you. Hell of a good guy, Ian. Passed away in the operating table, didn't he? Geez, you're really bringing us down, buddy. Everything. Tried to have a nice night. Any other questions? Non-death related questions? <laughs> Where did I get the shoes? Yes, that is definitely a left turn from what we were just talking about. <laughs> I gotta ha have a quick look at my shoes before I can answer that. Oh, these shoes were a gift. They were a gift from some friends for my birthday. Is there a reason you asked? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Do you want them? They look nice. Oh, they look nice. Oh, thank you very much. She's just been out there getting all horned up about my feet. That's, I gotta say, 52, I still got it. I'm just gonna start putting my feet on the poster for now on. Come gawk at these gams. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I'll pass, I'll, I'll pass along to the folks who bought these shoes for they're super comfortable. And I have weird feet too. I, I, when I find shoes that are comfortable, I latch onto them because I have, we, I got super weird feet. Like they're, um, like how many toes are you supposed to have? <laughs> Ballpark, no. I have the 10 toes, but it's just, they're all on the bottom, no. I have, I have very flat feet, that's my problem. I have super flat feet. And so my feet actually go, they're wider in the middle. <laughs> like it's like, like a Mary Melody's character. I have the weirdest feet. When I was a little kid, my buddies at the swimming pool, you know, on the, we'd be in the water and then the, the sidewalk would be, the cement around the pool would be hot and dry and they'd say, get up and walk around there because they were fat. my whole foot would be on the sidewalk. There'd be no arch. It'd just be like Sasquatch boy walking around. At the... <laughs>
All right, that was the Spruce Grove show. A lot of fun in Spruce Grove last night. Hot crowd, hot audience. So we're doing the show in Leduc tonight. Uh, I'll, I'll make another video about our show in Leduc. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification to uh, be alerted when that video goes up. All right. Oh, gee, sorry. We're hitting rough Alberta roads here. We'll uh, see you in the next video.